Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the overall weekly for January 2nd. So happy, happy new year to everybody. I hope everything gets off to a really great start for us all. Here's to a great new year, new month, new week. And if you're watching, I'm doing this a little bit early. Um, so whenever you're watching this, I wish you a happy new year. But if you didn't see the Akashic Tarot reading, oh my gosh, for January, I mean, that really was something else. Um, I'm already flashing on a couple of those cards and it really encouraged and just empowered us for a new month and new year. So we're going to tap into six decks and we're going to tap into the archangel messages for the journey. We're going to tap into the energy we're dealing with. We're going to tap into the goddess guidance. We're going to tap into what to surrender to make it easier. We're going to tap into messages from heaven, loved ones passed on our spirit guides that you have love support backing with all you're doing in the physical. We're going to end it with guardian angel messages. I was getting so much. I was getting, um, well, oh my gosh, I almost said something really per uh, perverted. <laughs> um, not keep your hands on your balls. Um, it was uh, stay on the ball, stay on the ball. It could feel like you're passing the ball to someone that they're going to make a shot in a basket, but then you turn around and it's like, they, they're not even on the court anymore. It's like, stay very present. Um, don't let things fall between the the cracks like stay on the ball um hold your balls oh my god stay on the ball um another thing is we're still moving forward we are still mo we're still moving forward it doesn't matter if it felt like you took 10 steps forward six back five steps forward two back whatever this back and forth whatever you're still moving forward they want you to know that and the birds are flying by again yeah so just keep your eyes on the ball your hands on the ball like follow up on things and don't let things fall through the cracks and also Whatever the pace it is, it, you're still going forward. You're still moving forward. Don't get frustrated. They're like, keep balanced and keep your sense of humor. You're still going forward. Um, you have a lot of love support backing for all you're doing in the physical is a recurring message. So, but be really present. Be really, really present. Okay, so let's tap into the Archangel messages. Uh, definitely trust your own intuition besides what I say. Also, the first pin comment for me on all readings will be the length of the video. I'll look up the angel number message uh, that goes to that number and it will be further support for all that just came out. So here's to a great start to a new month, new week, new year. And we are still going forward. I might even name it that. It's like, despite everything, we are still moving forward. We are still moving forward. Um, so let's get into it. The January 2nd one. Should we keep in our minds and hearts from the Archangels for the journey? What are the messages for the journey for the week of January 2nd? By the way, we're getting one card. Ooh, Ace of Michael. We are overcoming things. Just like I said, we are still moving forward. It's like we're climbing that hill, climbing that mountain, getting those brainstorms, getting those ideas, getting those clarity. They know you've worked really hard. They know you've worked really hard. You've really applied yourself. Um, wow. So I can see what's coming up already. I just want to say these two cards came up. But look at Ace of Michael. Archangel Michael that's lifting us up. This is wonderful new ideas. Do not allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Exactly what I was saying. You could feel like you took 10 steps forward, 5 back. Then 11 forward, 2 back. And then 5. It doesn't matter. You are still moving forward. And this is the energy of what I was babbling in the beginning. Is This is do not allow the bumps in the road to to hinder your progress. This is clearing up communication problems with others. These are wonderful new ideas, inspirations, things that are going to lift you up and out. Even have a higher perspective of things or different uh, ideas about things, but be very clear and honest and open with your communications and do not allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. We are still moving forward. This card came out. Yeah, look at this. It's Archangel Michael. It's almost like he is freeing us and actually telling us, see, we are still moving forward. Do you see her coming out of the gate? We are still, we're getting egged on and encouraged to get out and free ourselves into a new month, new week, new year. And it says you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Here it says you're not seeing things clearly. And here, this is all about getting that clarity, right? So there's something about getting freed and lift up and out. And this is Archangel Michael energy, right? And I, I find this so fitting because the last couple of readings going into the new month and new year was all about, the, right, the queen of forces. We kept on getting kings and queens. They want you to be free and be courageous and 
Break free of things that were hindering your progress and do not allow the bumps in the road. So this is like to hinder your progress. So this is multi-level. So there's things that you're going to be breaking free of and you're leaping out of, but then also they could be bringing you this change of energy, change of perspective, um, and also ideas of how you can lift up and out. So all of this is that energy. It's almost like no words really do this justice, but you're going to feel this in a way that you're going to break free out of things that maybe uh, held you back or constricted in some way that you're changing your mind, changing your heart, opening the door. Um, and you're also getting more clarity, but this, and also they're helping you with not allowing these bumps in the roads. It has not been an easy road. We kept on getting rocky road, rocky road for the longest time, um, but we're definitely getting assistance with breaking free and leaping up and out. So like we're still moving forward is that whole energy they know you work really hard and planted your seeds here's your angels overlooking what you've been planting and they said you have invested wisely so they want you to know that and still have patience and wait for the harvest review your progress make plans for your next endeavor yes yeah, so that's what they're telling us that they're saying we've worked really hard they understand that you have and wow look at all of this look at everything that's happening here you work really hard look three of rounds the L, Knight of Ariel and the Six of Ariel. Again, it's talking about that movement for the returns, for the give and take, um, for material needs being fulfilled. So we're literally breaking free and we're leaping up, not still moving forward, right? Do not allow the bumps in the road. You've worked really hard. You still have patience. Review your efforts, right? This could be a time that's a repeating message, reviewing your efforts. This is all about reasons to celebrate. There's a great community of friends you have, happy announcements regarding relationships or children so there could be a lot of happiness a lot of community you could have a lot of friends or family or things like that happening here and there could be times when you're having some really good times with that. But these two cards, too, is everything about in the physical. Like, though you've done the work and everything, and you're also having some great relationships, and whether it's work, coworkers, personal, whatever it is, also the movement of this week is you making the moves in the physical for material needs being fulfilled. And so that's the whole movement of like breaking free, not allowing the bumps in the road to hinder your progress and making those slow, steady movements. This is not a fast charging course. It's like very deliberate, grounded. Um, there's a lot to accomplish. They're telling you to make a very detailed plan. You're being watched over by someone kind A repeating message that you have help in the physical. Here's your angels, signs, symbols, messages, great ideas, making sure that you're still making these moves, that what you're doing, your energy, you're still making the moves in the physical for what? For your material needs to be fulfilled in magical, unexpected ways. It's a recurring message as we went into 2023 that no matter what happens, you do not allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress it, it's like archangel michael is spurring you on to have your material needs be fulfilled in magical ways that's what they want give and receive with a grateful heart and it's making the moves for your returns um, and a lot of it has been breaking free from what didn't work breaking free from not seeing clearly what's serving not serving you and also still having that patience this card is still about patience right and reviewing your progress making plans for even more movement for your material needs. They're assisting you with that. You're being watched over by someone kind. And so what they're telling you is they're giving you the energy, not allowing the bumps in the road to hinder your progress, giving you great ideas, ways to break free, be more courageous with that as you're trying to get your material needs being fulfilled. So that is what they're encouraging. Still moving forward. What did they say? Still moving forward. No matter what the bumps were, they're lifting you up and out to still move forward for your material needs being fulfilled. You're still moving forward despite everything that was happening you're breaking free and moving forward for your material needs being fulfilled in the process they're saying yes you've worked really hard to this point make no doubt about it still have patience review your progress you have a lot of good friends a good family good community good co-workers partners that are probably helping and assisting you in the physical to make this movement for more returns as well so that's what i'm getting so right on archangel michael the energy all tied up. Yes. What did he say? He is helping you to break free from being all tied up and to rise above, to not allow the bumps in the road to hinder your projects, to have that illumination, to have those ideas, to have just your energy shift um, that we're breaking free. This is literally all tied up. You can be free. So that is the energy that they're encouraging you to be free, to move forward, to move forward. For what? For your material needs being fulfilled in magical ways. So that is on multi-levels that they're supporting that movement, um, a break 
breaking free. Uh, you're still moving forward. So it's like break free and move forward, basically, is this reading. So that's what there is for your material needs being fulfilled. Did you just hear that funky part, uh, honk? When I said moving forward, it was like, da -na -na, da -na, unconditional love. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. No matter what. No matter what has been a recurring message. They make me say this in the last three readings. That you love and honor yourself. They have an outpouring for you. In the physical, you're being watched over by someone kind. That you are literally having the support here to break free and have your material needs fulfilled. Nurture yourself. Love yourself just as they love you. Love every outward situation no matter what. So this is a tall order whenever I say that. Um, oh my gosh. Now I have to get this call, I think. Oh, I don't even believe this is breaking up. No, I'm going to continue. There's unconditional love for you and you hold unconditional love too. That's what they mean by like light working 24 seven and support your movement forward for your material needs. And that's also unconditional love for you. That's Mary Magdalene. And so that's what they meant by the angels. Your, what you're doing in the physical and your movement is being watched over by someone kind. No matter what the outward appearances may be, know that as you're making your moves for your material needs, being fulfilled in magical, loving, unexpected ways. So that's what's helping you, this movement from being all tied up to having your material needs be fulfilled. Uh, just stay filled up yourself, like be of light, uh, yourself be of positivity yourself. Don't allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. The, it's a recurring message. So like fill your cup and make sure you're holding that for yourself and others. Surrender back to wonder and awe. Yeah, fill yourself up with unconditional love and surrender back to wonder and awe. Don't allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. This is your material needs are being fulfilled in magical, magical and unexpected ways. So stay open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So they are keeping you connected to this as you make your moves for your material needs being fulfilled, to not get stuck, to still have patience. Don't let that affect your energy. Just like they kept on saying, do not allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Surrender back to wonder and awe. You're right in the flow of having material needs being fulfilled in magical, unexpected ways. It's like, hold that. Love yourself and others no matter the, what the outward appearance is. They said no matter what. Like no matter what, W-H-A-T, no matter what, W-A-T-T. <laughs> You're like a no matter what light. Um, it came up in another video. Yes, look at that. Problems that have held you back are being cleared. We're monitoring it. They're monitoring it. Look at that. What's cleared, set yourself free. The problems that have held us back behind the gate are being monitored and cleared. So they want you to know all these problems so you can sail through and get your material needs. Surrender back to the wonder and awe that you're going to have your material needs fulfilled in magical, unexpected ways. Things that were holding you back, and this could be on the inside and out because there's some brilliant ideas. There's a shift in your energy, not allowing bumps in the road to hinder you, to have patience when you need to have it. Um, it's still moving forward on the physical, accomplishing things. The, Problems could be on multi-levels, in the physical, in the energy. Um, it's just you're going to surrender back to wonder and awe. I just love surrender back to wonder and awe and that your material needs are getting fulfilled in magical, unexpected ways. And here, as you make your moves, it's being watched over by someone kind. The problems that have held you back are being cleared. Here's Ace of Michael. Don't allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress right? So the problems that have held us back, see how she was behind the gates when it came to making moves for our fulfillment, whatever that was on a lot of different levels, it's being cleared. So that's what they want you to know as you move into a first week, first month, first year. And that's been a whole shift and that's what they're helping us with. So let's end with guardian angel messages as you make the moves forward. Just like they said, we're still going forward. No matter what, we are still going forward. And don't allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. This is all for your material needs being fulfilled in magical, in, in magical, look at this, inspiration. Didn't they say that we're giving you some great ideas, inspiration to get you out from being stuck, from the problems to move forward. Surrender back to the wonder and awe of receiving all this. 
you're going to get a wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas. Here's the wonderful ideas are about to enter your aura. It is important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind. Do not discount your imagination because as you're making your moves and they said your angels are watching, you're being watched over by someone kind, they're leaving things for you, almost like breadcrumbs or divine ideas or signs, symbols, messages, inspiration, to have your material needs be fulfilled in magical ways. It's been a repeating message. It helps you not to allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Um, don't discount your imagination many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed we your guardian angels will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities in your life this is you moving forward and manifesting new realities in your life this is material needs being fulfilled in magical unexpected ways so as you're making your moves they're giving you the ideas they're giving you the clarity they're giving you the inspiration that's what's breaking you free right to have more fulfilled, to have more of your material needs fulfilled. So don't discount those divine ideas, inspiration, um, even a shift in your energy that just propels you to make moves for more material fulfillment. That's all that they're inspiring you for the movement and for the fulfillment. That is a recurring message as we go into January. Um, you're supported in that. Inspire is in spirit. In spirit, they're like giving it to you. In spirit, inspiration to make those moves for your fulfillment. And they're assisting you with that. So, yeah, relax. You can relax. There's plenty of time. Remember, they said to still have patience. There's something about this. It could feel like 11 steps forward, five back, four forward, but you can relax, be in the pace of that and have patience. There's plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart. This is unconditional love for yourself as well. So even if you're in this stance and you're like, hello, where's my material needs being fulfilled? That you can relax. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. Imagine yourself bathed in golden light flowing from the eternal heart of God. I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart. This is exactly what they're saying. You're being watched over by someone kind as you're making your moves. Allow me into your heart. You will accomplish more by focusing on that, which is most important in life, love. There is so much to accomplish, but remain in alignment and relaxed. Uh, this is a slow and steady horse. You can relax as you're making your moves for your fulfillment. Yes, and the last one is prayer. Help me always to remember. This is the unconditional love for you. Dear God, help me always to remember that this present life is but a fleeting moment within eternity. Help me always to remember that this life is but a dream. And help me always to remember that you exist. Here it is. You exist within everyone and everything. And help me always to remember that love is all there is and all else is an illusion. Thank you. There's your unconditional love. And it's also supporting you as you make your moves for your material needs being fulfilled in magical, unexpected ways. Surrender back to that wonder and awe of it all. They're allowing you to do that, to break free and to rise above and not allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. You're literally being helped with the moves for this material. Quite literally, problems that have held you back are being cleared. Continue to have patience. You still are going to have a lot of nice relationships and, and everything else, but they're getting you out of being all tied up and freeing out and lifting up and out and making those moves. You're going to be really inspired you can probably have great ideas, inspiration um, to go forward. And it, it's all for this. It's a repeating message. Material needs getting fulfilled in magical, unexpected ways. And continue to give with a grateful heart because that's the return. That is the return. And then they said before in another reading, your return is from source. So if you're pouring it out, like here, you probably poured out a lot. Your return is going to be coming in. You, there's a lot to accomplish here. It's for material needs being fulfilled and you're supported with unconditional love. Um, and hold that for yourself no matter what the outward appearances may be. You Just continue. You don't allow the bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Continue riding that horse. You're supported the whole way. Um, you're supported the whole way to here. They're inspiring you to keep moving that way. And as you do, they're leaving signs, symbols, messages to encourage your movement forward as well. That's the wonder and awe. That is the wonder and awe. So you're going to be feeling that movement. Like they said in the beginning, it's how it's ending. You are still moving forward. Despite the bumps in the road, you are still moving forward for it. And you, you're really getting divinely inspired for that movement and for that fulfillment and even how to carry yourself 
because it's it's a grateful heart giving and receiving that's the unconditional love that you're holding for yourself and others no matter what and um it's it's the fulfillment here so yes um and relax in this a little bit relax in this they could be helping you with that but this is definitely going from all tied up to moving forward for more fulfillment and they're inspiring you to do so any kind of problems that were holding you back are being cleared that's the free it's going to feel like you're coming out of the gates quite literally and they're saying uh, how it began you're still moving forward and not allowing the bumps in the road to hinder your progress you have divine support you have divine support surrender back to the wonder and awe of that divine support i wish you the best for the first week of january happy happy new year here's to a great start to a new month new week new year take care Bye bye